All right. Well, today's the day when I finally start on this drum set overhaul. To give a little bit of background, this is an Orange County Venice series drum set. The kick drum is a 22 inch diameter and 20 inch depth. And this is a nine by 12 rack tom, and this is a 13 by 16 floor tom. Obviously this is a, a project that's gone horrifically wrong in terms of mod projects. And just to be clear, I purchased a kit like this. I did not do this. So one of the first things I'm going to do, obviously, is take off all the hardware and then peel off this contact paper and wrapping paper, wrapping ribbon, I can't tell. But yeah, it was very poorly put on. And this is the the tom mount that came off of this rack tom, and yeah, I'm good. This is gonna take a lot of work, but I'm pretty confident that I can get this back up and running. And here we are. Shells are stripped and ready to be rewrapped. Oh yeah. I forgot, I gotta take off the vent holes too. And these are flanged though, I hate flanged vents. All right, now I got them prepped and ready to go. Got all the vent holes out of each of these shells. Now time for the fun part, wrapping it. So while I'm working on wrapping the shells, I'm gonna go ahead and get these soaking in hot water and dish soap. Uh, that's another tip is that while you're stripping out all the hardware and everything, keep them in a central area, otherwise you'll end up losing a very critical part on the reassembly process. Yeah, but these are all the lugs, screws, tension rods, and the rubber gaskets. I'm going to pull out all the rubber gaskets. I just wanted to get them off the drums and get them in a central location so I know where they all are. Oh, the hardware has been soaking in this bucket for about, about three hours. Go ahead and pull out one of the lugs here. And you can kind of tell already the paint is starting to peel off. And yeah... And yeah, look at all that chrome that... All right, so... Several hours have went into getting these lugs and other chrome hardware all cleaned up from all that spray paint. I still have quite a lot to go, but I will pick this up tomorrow. For this particular uh, segment of the video, I'm going to use this 9x12 rack tom, but the same procedure for wrapping this will apply to both the floor tom and the kick drum. So I already pre-cut the wrap using a circle cutter and a fabric ruler and a meter stick. And I cut this to nine and a quarter by 39 inches. So this is going to, so it's going to wrap around this entire drum with a little bit of a margin of error over the bearing edges. And it's also going to overlap uh, by about a half an inch, give and take. So first, so next to do is pelt the backing, sticky side face away from me. And in all, in all honesty, it doesn't really matter which direction you start with uh, wrapping the drum. I'm going to start on the side where the vent hole is because that's where I want my overlap to be. And also the seam, whenever I'm going to be playing this drum, is going to be facing me. So, got to make the first pass here. And you notice, I'm not peeling the whole sheet completely. I'm going to do it a little, little by little. And now what I'm doing here is I'm just massaging the vinyl onto the shell, starting down in the middle.
and working my way out toward the sides. So now that the wrap is done, is to go ahead and make the trim on each side of the bearing edges. And to make this easier, what I did was I just taped a razor blade onto a fabric ruler. Lay this onto my table. And push the blade against the wrap and just let it cut. And voila, very nice and even. And here it is. I gotta say, this is probably the most challenging overhaul that I've done so far. And I think this was well worth it. What do you think? And do you want me to do another overhaul? Leave a comment, let me know what you think, subscribe. And if you've got any questions again, leave a comment and I'll try to get to each and every single one of you. But thanks for watching.